bag briefcase. And as you, you can see here, it's in the normal um, shoulder strap mode. Th this video is going to be about setting them up as a backpack. Now, other people tell you, now you have to uh, un unbuckle, unbuckle here, take this off. How many holes do I count? Oh, where's the center of my uh, strap? Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, slide this off, and thread it around through the, through the hoop. No, you don't have to do all that. hardest way possible so in my opinion why do it the hard way and I would think they would agree with that he likes to brag about look there's you know single pieces here and this whole back and the top and the front is one piece and blah 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 I that's one of the reasons I like saddleback frankly I, I agree with that 100% fewer parts so in the same case of uh, how to make it into a backpack let's do it with fewer steps So um, first of all, take off the take off the um, strap. Obviously, all you care about is what's the center of your strap. So you fold it in half, so you get the loop. Mine's kind of broken in because I almost always keep it in a backpack mode. Actually, I'll see if I can dig up some pictures of me wearing it once we, I went traveling. This whole thing was filled to bursting for like a, two, a three day travel, whatever it was. But I had it in backpack mode the whole time, and I almost almost never take it out, frankly, because it's just a lot easier. Okay, so here's how to do it. You, you start from the top of the bag. Let's say this is the back, obviously, right? And you're going from the front to the back. You're going to thread your halfway point. Cut on something in there. Take that, and you feed it through here. From the front of the bag to the back. This is the back here. This is where your back is going to go, this is where your body is going to go. And you want to go over the top from the front to the back. And just pull it all the way through, move the, move, the, move the pads out of the way if you have to. So you have a nice big loop here, right, going through the, the ring. Then you turn it so that basically the inside is facing up or towards the sky. Then you flip each one through the loop. What you can do actually just have one over overlapping. You can see it's just overlapping the thing. Uh, then the other one through, because once it gets down uh, down here, it's going to be pulling away from each other. It won't matter. It's not going to overlap anymore. And since you basically put it in the middle, you might even know, oh, this hole is the middle hole. It doesn't really matter which one of these holes is the middle hole because you can always do the fine tuning of the length for the straps with this buckle at your shoulder. Then if it's too long, you can massage it back through the knot to the other side until it's even. It'll never be too short because then it wouldn't latch. Then. You uh, clip it on the corners. And you're done. That's the backpack mode. This is how I normally carry it. It's just a lot more convenient. And also, uh, even if you're carrying it like this, by the, by the top handle, the straps are a lot shorter because you have, you know, going through all this and, and back and forth instead of just one big hoop that's hanging down. Um, so this actually ends up being a lot more compact and convenient to, to just grab like that. Even if you're not going to put it on, you can just grab it and go and it's not this giant long thing all over the place. Uh, this, is, this here is just me, I reversed the strap so that the buckles and the prongs hang down instead of flopping open and sticking out this way they want to they want to stay down is my it was the idea <laughs> you know gravity's still working for you there instead of against you 
So anyways, that's how you put the backpack loom. And by the way, this will work with regardless of any back, any any case that has you know this similar type of uh, triple triple uh, loops to uh, make it, it into a backpack. Now I'll try to do the same thing with. Uh, I'll show you that it works on anything. Okay, so here's the other backpack mode. And now this one, is, is, this is on my uh, medium water bag, obviously. I just put some uh, pillows in here so it has <laughs> some shape. There's actually nothing in it. So the reason I have this one here is because I want to show you how easy it is to undo it. So let's pretend you were going to check this in or, you know, put it in the overhead compartment or something where you didn't want all this extra, all these extra straps hanging off unnecessarily, whether it's this piece or, or the bottom piece or whatever. You know, this, you want to put it inside to, to get, get it uh, put away. So what you do first is Unhook the bottoms, unhook the corners basically, what I'm saying. And you want to make this loop as big as possible. And get the pants through it. And then like I said, this is uh, flipped around and we can slide it off. I slide it through the, the ring. Now you're, you're, you want to put it back on, let's pretend. So again, this works on any any uh, bag that will have, it doesn't have, even have to be saddlebag. If it has this type of a system, it's still going to work. Um, <clears throat> fold it so you find the middle. Loop the middle through the ring. Turn it so that the inside is facing up, and it's okay if they overlap a little bit, that's fine. It might even be helpful because then you can get them to really stay together. Then one at a time, just thread it through the the loop you've made. One, two. Pad everything. It all goes through. And then you can kind of just, you know, massage it to, to work it down to the more or less even, of course, you know, is what you want to end up with in the same size. Especially once you've, you've uh, sorted out the length of the strap. Then once you do that, like, you're, in other words, you adjust this so that it fits your body's height. It depends how tall you are. I'm almost six feet. Maybe you're almost five feet. Maybe you're, you know, almost seven feet. It doesn't matter. You adjust this accordingly. Then you just leave it alone. You don't have to keep doing it again and again. Every time you go through this process, you got to reset it up. It's not necessary. Uh, so then once you get your two straps done, you uh, clip them on, bring the pads to the top, and you're done. It's ready to be a backpack again. So this was my hopefully shorter video how to set it up and don't worry about the dirt this was filthy before actually I used I was using this lately for a bag that I would chop wood here and take it into the fireplace into the uh, house to, for the fireplace and it just became filled with dirt and old pieces of wood and everything and I just got tired of looking at it like a few days ago actually and I just said you know what that's kind of what got me motivated to do this so I finally said you know what I'm just gonna take it out in the backyard and hose it off. I just filled it with water, half half water, sloshed it around, dumped it out, wa wa washed off all the dirt on the outside, and it looked like brand new almost. You know, it's perfectly fine. So anyway, 
that's my uh, little tutorial on on uh, backpack mode. And of course, you know, it, that only applies to those bags that have that kind of a system. That's it. Backpack. Backpack mode. Works great. So just loop it around like that, like I showed you. You don't have to take it apart and all that other nonsense. Waste of time. And uh, take every time you do it, it's a big struggle. Totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Spank that subscribe if you want more of these. I actually have a one or two other items. I, I could do a video on these uh, other bags if you wanted. And or I already have a, a video of my front pocket wallet that's been up there f for five years or more I think that's when I got the these other bags too, or the briefcase probably the other two came later now, I was even using that uh, water bag in a uh, video where I went camping on my motorcycle that's what I usually use those for the backpack and the water bag I usually use when I travel on the bike if it's like you know overnight or camping kind of thing and it's in one of the videos forget which one maybe I'll, I'll notate that here somewhere on the screen anyway hope that was helpful take care and uh, let me know how this works out for you if you have any questions get back online and I'll try to clarify I mean leave a comment and I'll try to clarify otherwise take care here I have been threatening to take the bag camping and there it is on my back, on my back. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the deep in the forest here, standing by this really bright moonlight. Uh, and oh, actually, I'm in my backyard. <laughs> Never mind.